Hey yo, duckies, Andy Lippy here, and you, Lauren Board 2 users, have been asking me, where are these stream up widgets? Where are they? Where are they? Well, I've already now converted some of the new ones. I'm going to show you which ones, how to get them downloaded, installed, all that jazz. All right, let's get into it. Put your rocket for the stone. This portion of the video is sponsored by Own.TV. Own.TV is literally a one-stop shop for everything streaming related. They've got overlays, alert packages, emotes, sub badges, bit badges, absolutely everything to take your stream to the next level and make it look super professional. And what's better is you can actually save yourself a cheeky 50%, that's right, 50, half price off absolutely anything using off code Andy50. All the links are in the description down below and go to supporting the channel. So thank you very much guys and thank you own.tv for sponsoring this video. So you can download these products from the Stream Up website. So if you go to products, you can actually filter the product by which program you are using so we can filter by Leon board 2 and then you'll be able to see all the widgets that we've actually ported across so min and poll min and predictions final fantasy 7 highlight message ios 15 notification ios notification and minim walking message these are all free to download you just need to hit the get it for free button that will then take you to the coffee page where you can choose how much you want to pay to support us you can put zero in there you can put one billion dollars in it's completely up to you once the purchase is complete it will ask you to view content and then you can hit download and a quick shout from me don't forget if this content is helping you press that subscribe and that like button because it doesn't cost a thing and it'll help push this content to more people all right once you've got all that downloaded you can actually unzip it so you'll see you'll have it'll have a bunch of numbers on it and it'll say what product it is just right click and extract it all. Once that's extracted, you'll open that folder and you'll see a stream up iOS notification two folder or whatever the product is. I'd recommend copying that somewhere on your hard drive that you're gonna keep it. So for this example, I'm just gonna put it on my desktop. So now I've got stream up iOS notification two. I'm gonna open that up and this is available for streamer bot and the on board too. So all the information is just here. If you want to see the install instructions, just double click the HTML and you'll be able to see it on there. With some products, we would recommend installing certain things first. So if you go to the download and install these first, you'll see any plugins or fonts or anything like that that you are needed to make the product run and you can download all them. For all the OBS plugins, there is actually an easy way to download everything and get it installed. You can actually get the StreamUp plugin installer and that will download all the relevant plugins that we use for any of our products and make it super easy for you to install. You can check out my video on that just up here. That will definitely help you get that set up. So before we do anything in the Orin board, we need to go to OBS and make sure you've got the StreamUp plugin installed. You can make sure you've got that. If you go to tools, you should see StreamUp just there. If you're not seeing that, make sure you've installed the prerequisites, otherwise it won't work. Click on stream up and then navigate to wherever you put that folder. So mine was in desktop, stream up iOS notification two, and then you'll see a dot stream up file. Just double click that and that will open it and it'll add all the relevant scenes in that product. At this point, each product will have different scenes. So make sure you do check the instructions in regards to how to get that to work on your stream. Most of them will just be using nested scenes where you can add a new source and add a scene as that source. If you do need any help on nested scenes, check out this video just up here. Now we can open up Leoran Board 2. So it's super easy. Just make sure your transmitter and everything is connected. Just go to transmitter on the left hand side press install an extension and then navigate back to that folder wherever you saved it to. So stream up is on my desktop there and then I can go to Leoran board 2 install and just open this LB2 file just here. That'll create a new deck for you just there, which you can double click into. All the info and everything is on here. You can go to the settings page and this will be slightly different for each product. But inside there, you'll have different instructions on what you want to do, whether or not you want light or dark mode for certain things, how long you want different things to stay on screen. You just press the little eyes next to them and then you can adjust all the values in there. A very important one is to make sure you set your OBS instance to its actual name. So by default, it is set to main. And to check this, we need to go to the main menu, go to OBS connections, and then you'll see your OBS just here. By default, it should be main, but you might be using a different OBS, so make sure you change it to that one. So you might see there might be an issue with certain products straight away. So after installing all the products that you need, I would recommend closing down the Orin board and reopening it so it can run its initial startup program. 
So when I open the Orem board, it's going to create all the relevant information that it needs. And now I will not have that issue. So now if I do a test to see if this is working, now for this one, I can just type in test into chat and we can see that it's completely working absolutely fine. And that will be just slightly different for each product, but please refer back to the instructions for that particular product. All the information will be there. If you do need any more help, then you can join the stream up discord. We've got plenty of brains in there that will definitely help you out. Big shout out to all these people here for helping me make this content full time for you guys. If you want to join, consider joining Patreon or channel members today down below. And if you do have any questions, make sure you do comment on here or anything like that. I don't mind helping out at all. Make sure you do check out this video just here because that will teach you some more stream up related stuff that will elevate your stream. Put your rock over the stone.